everybody. Hi, everyone. It is fall, right? It is fall. Summer is over. Labor Day's done. School has started. School has started. Not for me. <laughs> Have fun, kids. <laughs> um, um, and so, so we're very much aware. We saw all those first day of school posts all over our Facebook. We yes. loved them. Thank you so much. So adorable. Yeah, we love families, and we love seeing those those pics. We do. We do. And I love seeing um, one of my friends is a kindergarten teacher. It says second year of kindergarten teacher, and so I love that. So um, it's so great to see all of you. You also excited about fall, and um, we're excited too. We're even though we didn't start school we're we're excited too um because everything starts everything is restarts restarts um back at back at gipc it's rally day this sunday which means that we rally together right where we're renewed and re-energized and we come together and do different um we have classes that start up we have food and worship is awesome and it's it's great so we're we're feeling um renewed and re-energized as well and, and as we're thinking about that yep we got an interesting story we're working with and just want to share with you real quick and it's about Christian community it's about a community in which people find and actually experience the things that Jesus was talking about right and one of those things is freedom so there's this very interesting story in the New Testament and it's in the book of Philemon which is a personal letter it's a personal okay. letter from the Apostle Paul to somebody named Philemon Paul's in jail, Philemon's in the city, Colossus, which is way far away where Paul is in jail. And he, but Paul writes this letter mm -hmm. and basically says, there's somebody you know, Philemon, who's in jail with me. Actually, Paul's under house arrest. It's wow. not, not like, um, not like, yeah, not Leavenworth. Like, yeah. Okay. So uh, there's somebody here who you know, it's Onesimus. Okay. And Onesimus is a slave that Philemon owned who had run oh. away. Oh, weird. And um, Paul has him right there. And what Paul would like is for Onesimus to remain with him. He's been very helpful, become like a brother. Hmm. And uh, just, uh, they, they, they developed this great bond. Yeah. But Paul doesn't want to just co-opt him. He writes this letter back to Philemon and Onesimus is going to take it and he says here's your slave mm -hmm. and he knows that Philemon can do whatever he wants with his slave we have him arrested he can punish right, him right he can sell him and, and Paul is saying Philemon you are a brother in Christ mm -hmm. and I love you and appreciate you and I want to encourage you to extend that same love to Onesimus hmm. and forgive him okay. and then send him back to me. And so the freedom that comes in this Christian community is something that just explodes all the societal norms and expectations right. and rules. And don't see Onesimus as a slave, but as a brother and me as a brother too. And we exist together in this bond, in this community, and the world can't tell us how to act. Hmm. We take our direction, draw our life from a different source, the love of Christ. Very cool. And, and, and that's not a common story. That's not something that I hear. Uh, like, I don't think I've ever heard that story. Okay, so here's... 32 years going to church, never heard that story. Here's so. the kicker. Mm -hmm. We don't know what happened. Oh, we don't know what, what Philemon did? We don't know what Philemon did. Ooh. And Ooh. so this hmm. is a very interesting way that the scripture invites us to consider, well, what would I do? Yeah. If I got this letter and it was from somebody I respected and even loved, asking me to do something incredibly magnanimous, way outside the normal expectations. Right at cost and sacrifice to me, what would I do? Yeah, that's interesting. Well, that'll be, hmm, interesting. What would you do? There you go. You know, and another question this all raises is, do you have a community that you can be real and honest, like Paul, Onesimus, and Philemon, and talk about the important things not be 
be confined by societal expectations and experience life in a larger context and perhaps even include the love of God. Yeah. I think that kind of community is really far between, not that evident in this world. Oh, I see. But yeah. Where does God show up in this world? That's one of the ways. That's one of the ways when in your community hmm, right. where you can be honest and be yourself. That's pretty, it's really important. It's really important. Um, so yeah, so uh, we're going to be pondering that for a little bit and uh, hope that you guys will ponder with us. And um, Grosio Presbyterian Church, worship time's changing. 8.15 and 10.30 a.m. worship times. 9.30 is education hour. Um, if you can come out, we'd love to see you. If not, just continue to think with us about community. Yeah, and we hope you find, either have or find that community either with us or somewhere else. Somewhere else, yeah. Awesome. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.